today I want to show you silicone moulds and I want to show you how well they work uh, using Probondo. Now Probondo is a latex based product which is self sticking and very roughly, I don't know exactly how they make it, but roughly it's latex with the water taken out so it becomes a paste and you can make these silicone moulds, um, you can actually buy them but if you want to get together, if you're a student, selection of students, you might want to get together and share uh, the cost of the, uh, the silicone um, together, which will make it cheaper. But basically, what you do is you model up whatever it is, the cut, the scar, uh, the eye bag, the mould, whatever it is you want, you model it up and you cast it with silicone. And having got the silicone dead level and straight, once it's set, you turn it out and you have what you call a negative mould, and that's what these are. Um, now, what's fantastic about Probondo um, is the fact that it's self-sticking, so easy to apply, and it really does stay for a long time, and it's incredibly quick. To, to fill the moulds, I'm going to show you how you do that now. Um, there are two products you need. You need uh, the release and seal, which effectively coats the, um, the mould with a layer that this is, which also helps it to come out, but also helps you to bleed it on the skin so you don't see the edge. Now, very simply, you get your mould, you make sure it's clean, you can do it very easily with um, detergent and soapy water, and then pat it dry. And you need to put in, depending on the side of the modelling, you need to put in one, two, maybe even three drops, but you need to get into all the areas and just coat. all the modelled area. You don't need to go right to the edge because remember this is the bit you're going to bleed away. So you make sure the whole edge is covered and then you just let that dry. You need to do that twice probably. Um, on this little one here you would probably only do maybe one drop. Same here. And again make sure you work it into all the modelling. Takes a couple of minutes to dry. Do your second layer on that one also, as you can see. Just use an old brush. I mean, it's easily cleaned with IPA, but um, you don't, let's see, you can see it's just starting to go now. All that just needs to be cleaned. And on this one, another drop. Make sure it's all sealed in. Now, once that's dry, you then get your Pro Bondo. Now, it comes in different colours. My favourite colour is the pinky one uh, because it's, it's much closer to flesh uh, tones and you don't really want to have to put too much makeup on it because that's what's so lovely about it is it does just blend into the skin. Now, this is, um, that was a new one, so I've got one here that I've actually opened before. Now, very simply, what you need to do, get yourself a little palette knife. You have to be quite generous with it initially. You have to actually scoop out quite a lot of the product and you make, need to make sure it's really, really worked into all the modelling and right to the edge. This one has had a little bit of skin texture put on it as well, which is nice. So what you do is you just make sure all of that is completely covered. Now, although that seems excessive, what you do is Having then scraped it, I like to use the blade. Some people use um, a flat card and then just throw it away. I quite like these blades. Again, you can clean it with IPA. Uh, just put it in a little bowl. Um, once you've scraped it, the excess you can use to then fill up your next mould. So in fact, you, it's not wasteful. So once you've done that, let's pop that there. You just, on an even stroke, you just pull that across. And as you can see, what that does is you've got the excess there and you've got the whole shape of the mould. I'm just going to take that a little bit off now. And as I said, you then use that to fill another mould. So you can have a lovely little line of these all lined up and very quickly you can have them all filled. And it really is as simple as that. And again, Just drag that across. Now, 
what happens is your release and seal is beyond that line because the latex only sits in the modelling. Because, of course, latex you can't bleed away, but the release and seal you can. And I'll just now do the last one, as you can see. Very little wasted. Bring a tiny bit more out of the pot. I would suggest that you put the lid on the pot as soon as you finish using it, because, of course, eventually it will start to go off. Let's do another two scoops on that then. There you can see just the modelling that's been left in. Now, you leave that to dry. Um, the very fine ones might dry in a couple of hours. I tend to load my moulds up um, the day before, and I'll leave them somewhere warm where they can dry and then once they're dry that's when you then end up with a mold like this this is exactly the same as that one I've just loaded and that's the one that's dry and that's the piece you would apply now you have to be very careful because this is very sticky so what you have to make sure is nobody touches it and you also have to make sure that it lies nice and flat um, now you can do this if you've got a box you can make sure that it doesn't go anywhere if you want to actually put all your pieces in a little box um, and then you can pin them and then put a little top on and then you know that they're safe, no dust, no dirt's going to get on them and then they're ready to use. And I will then show you how you very quickly and easily apply that little piece.